Joey Anastasia, and today we're doing a thrifted transformation from my thrift haul. If you haven't seen my thrift haul video, go check it out. The link's down below. If you haven't checked out my Patreon yet, hop on over and check it out. I have lots of great stuff over there, including a tote bag of the month club. If you join, you get a different tote bag every single month made by me. And here's this month's tote bag, which says, I love sewing because I love sewing so much. Thank you so much to everybody who's already a supporter on Patreon. It means so much to me. Today we're going to be tailoring and hemming this super cute 60s shift. Kind of reminds me of Mary Quant. If you don't know who Mary Quant is, make sure you check her out. She's an iconic 1960s fashion designer. To tailor and hem this dress, you're going to need a few supplies. You're going to need matching thread. You're also going to need some chalk so we can mark all of our alterations. You're going to need some scissors, and you're going to need your snips, and a ruler. The first thing I'm gonna do is try on my dress so I can see where I need to take in the dress and how short I need to make my hem. So let's go try on the dress and see what we need to do. So this dress is just a little bit big in the top. I want to leave the shift A line to it because that is part of the style. So I'm going to pin up here in the chest on the side seams. So grab your stick of pins and let's pin that together. What I like to do is grab the amount of fabric that I'm going to take in and then go ahead and take a pin and put it in the fabric through the back and then back out the front. So that way you're going through and creating a fake seam here so you can feel how tight it's gonna be on you when we actually take it in. Now go ahead and pin down the side seam as much as you wanna take in. And then when you feel like you have a good amount, it's hard to do on your own, I know. Sometimes it's good to use a friend, or you could put some chalk there. I think I'm just gonna leave this pin here and then I'll blend it up with the chalk later. Okay, so I've got my couple of pins there and I'm just taking it in in the top, so it's really all I need. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Now that I have the side seams pinned, I'm gonna go ahead and pin up the hem to make it as short as I would like. And I'm gonna make it right below my fingertips. So put your hand down at your side and put a pin right below your finger. And now what I like to do is fold it up to where that pin is and put another pin at the top so I can visually see how short it's gonna be when I wear it. Now go over to the mirror and see if you like the length that you've pinned. And if you do, then you're all done pinning. Now that we have our side seams pinned and our hem pinned, grab your chalk and let's chalk it up. But first, turn your dress inside out. Now grab your chalk and we're gonna chalk right where the pins are. Now what I want you to do is find your pin in the side seam and pull it apart and chalk on both sides, the right and the left of where the pin would be so that way when we take the pin out, you'll have chalk marks there. So I put two pins in my dress. So now that I've marked both of them on this side, I wanna go over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that we have both of the side seams chalked, let's chalk the hem. I'm going to chalk the edge of my fabric with dashed marks. I don't have to chalk the entire line. So go ahead and do the front and the back so that way when we take the pins out, we know where our hem should be. Now we're going to turn it right side out and take out the pins. Now that all the pins are out, you need to turn it inside out one more time. Now grab your ruler and we are gonna blend our chalk marks into the previous seam that's already there. First thing I'm gonna do is blend the chalk mark at the waistline or under the bust seam that we have here into the armhole. So go ahead and line up your ruler with the waist and blend it into the line, the seam line that we already have here on the dress. So that way when we sew this, we're gonna end up with a nice smooth seam. The next step is going to be blending from the waist to the hip. We want this to be a nice gradual smooth line into the skirt. That way there's no bumps or anything funky on the right side of the dress when you're wearing it. So sometimes when you pin, you pin things uneven because you don't know really what you're grabbing and taking in on the sides. So make sure you measure from the seam line to the chalk line on one side and do the same thing on the other to make sure they're the same. 
So notice how this one's different. So I want to take it in the same amount on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a new chalk line. And this is the one I'm going to follow. Now that both sides are equal, go ahead and chalk up the other side and we'll move on to the hem. On this side, we have four and a quarter. Let's measure the other side. We also have four and a quarter. So now we can draw a line from the right to the left side. Don't forget, you need a seam allowance for your hem. So I'm gonna measure an inch down for my hem seam allowance. So I'm gonna use my big quilting ruler and line up my chalk lines with the one inch mark on the ruler. And now, once I've done that, I can go ahead and put my new chalk line. And this is going to be our cutting line. So grab your scissors so we can cut off the hem. Now that we have all of our chalk marks and we have our hem cut off, we are ready to sew. Today I'm going to be sewing on the Husqvarna Viking Epic 980Q. Make sure you have your straight stitch selected on your sewing machine. I'm starting at the seam on the armpit and then I'm gonna be sewing to the waist and then down to the hip. And I'm going to be following that chalk line that I've created. Make sure you back stitch. Also make sure that your layers of fabric are nice and flat and that you're not catching anything on the underside. Make sure when you get to the bottom that your stitch is going into the previous line of stitches. So that way it ends up smooth on the outside. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. On the opposite side, I'm going to be starting at the bottom of the skirt because I want the bulk of my fabric to the outside of my machine. Now we're back up at the armpit. We wanna make sure that you're stitching right into the previous stitch line that's here so it's nice and smooth on the outside. And make sure you back stitch. Now what we want to do is put a little back stitch at the seams on the hem. So that way when we're hemming it, it doesn't fall apart because you can see it comes apart because we've cut right through that seam. Now I've back stitched on all three seams and it's nice and secure. So when you go ahead and pull this, we are not going to fall apart. So now we're gonna iron the hem up a quarter inch and then three quarters of an inch, which equals an inch, which is the seam allowance we left for our hem. Now by turning it under a quarter and then three quarters, you'll notice we'll have a nice clean finish on the inside of our dress. Now that it's all ironed up, I'm gonna do an edge stitch right at the fold. We are all done sewing, but we are not finished yet. So the extra fabric you have in the inside from taking it in, you can either cut it off or you can seam rip open that first stitch that was already there and press your seam allowance open, which I'm going to do because I don't like cutting off the extra fabric in vintage dresses in case I ever want to sell it or if I get bigger, I can let it out. So I'm going to start seam ripping by releasing a few stitches at the bottom. Remember, this is our first seam that was already in the dress when I got it. And then I like to open up the seam so I can see the stitches. And then it goes a little faster. Now you can see that we have this large seam allowance here. So we're going to go ahead and press it open. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side with your seam ripper. And then you can go ahead and try it on and see what it looks like. Here's the finished dress. So I took in the side seams and I hemmed it and it feels like a whole new dress. I'm loving it. 
Upcycling is such a great way to bring new life to garments that you would have never ever worn before. Now this dress has another 20 years in it at least, and it's from the 60s. Isn't that crazy to think about? Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. And as always, follow me on Instagram at Sew Anastasia and Anastasia Chapska. And if you're in Chicago, make sure you take a sewing class with me or I would love to make you something custom. You can find information about that at SewAnastasia.com. And don't forget to hop on over to Patreon and check out all the awesome ways that you can keep Sew Anastasia growing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.